Oxymoron is asking, left slash liberals are resist resistive to the uniform civil code claiming it has cursory agenda of imposing hindu norms upon non-hindus even if ill intentions of hindu for are assumed are there any practical scenarios that exemplify that imposition of hindu personal laws masquerading as uniform civil code would lead to a regression of muslim society so for those who not are not aware in india in terms of personal laws, which um, rule over things like marriage, um, rule over things like inheritance, uh, a variety of other things. Um, if you're in different religious communities, you have different laws that are available to you. So the religious community that you were born into, um, I think they're actually, you can, if you convert, then you can get your personal law, the you are applicable or eligible for um changed but regardless basically um you, there are different laws for different religious groups and so there's a huge push to have a uniform civil code um partially for reasons like we were just talking about because different groups have different privileges and a lot of there's a lot of inconsistencies there's a lot of contradictions and personally i think it's absurd that you have no control over the religious group that you're born into and suddenly different laws are available to you um that like i cognitively i just cannot understand <laughs> um so there was wait a little bit more that he added to that okay so then he also said hindu personal law which is applicable to buddhists sikhs jains even atheists who enter into marriage through the special marriage act are very similar to christian and zoroastrian personal laws sons and daughters enjoy equal inheritance age of marriage for men is 21 women is 18. by the way i think the marriage age in india should be the same um modi plans to raise the age of marriage for women to 21 and plans to legalize polyamory okay we got i don't know if the polyamory thing is true we got overly excited about the polyamory last week and i don't think it was true <laughs> um only one community stands out from these in this framework that exists just for this one community uh i think by implication you're referring to muslims um there there's little to no nothing hindu about the hindu code bill mr nehru by his own words pushed hindu code bill in authoritarian manner against majoritarian parliamentary views because he believed it creates quote progressive hindu society when it came to muslims progressive liberals chickened out with excuses like religious rights and risk of another partition narratives um okay with all that being said um i do not know enough about hindu personal law specifically to be able to say if it would infringe on other people's rights if it was applied to other people now ideally the uniform civil code wouldn't just be hindu personal law but then just created for uniform civil code for everyone you know um i think there should be like some overall integration or maybe just overall upgrade of the laws and norms it's difficult i think partially because of the current climate of um like all the the push against halal meat um in in so many other ways in which muslim public expression of muslim life are being targeted across india um i think people just have a lot of anxieties about other expressions of being muslim being um disallowed um but i can't i can't speak personally to if a hindu personal law was would actually regress muslim society okay let's highlight two comments about this um um Oxymoron is saying, FYI, I am not huge on the Uniform Civil Code. I just find this assumption silly. It should be responsibility of Muslims to reform their society, not saffron. Oh, you got cut again. Not saffron knights. Wait, what knights. is saffron knights? Everyone be invested in the well-being of your citizens equally. 
Wait, you got cut for a second. What did you say before Saffron Nice? Oh, it should be basically you're saying it should be the responsibilities of Muslims to reform mm -hmm. their own personal law instead of like majority Hindus yeah, yeah. coming in and saving them through reforming a uniform civil code. Why can't everyone be invested in the well being of each other across the nation? Um, I think like the universal civil code, maybe he means that it shouldn't have Islam um, appears um, Muslims by having Islamic standards in it. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, but it shouldn't also have Hindu standards in it. It should neither have Hindu or like whatever. This UCC will only work if it has neither Islamic or Hindu standards in it. And it just finally matures to be something fitting of a secular democracy and join the modern civilized world. Finally, right? If I was an Indian national, I would have a vested interest in having the personal laws be applicable to all citizens regardless of their background regardless of my own background well there you go here's the next comment um mario is saying there's also a problem using religions as part of an official identification especially when personal belief is such a complicated issue and not always fits the options you have that's true which is why very conveniently and for, for political purposes buddhist sikhs and jains are fit under the category of hindu Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think a religious identification on official documentation is also absurd. Yes, it's, it is. Also, I've seen it on resumes. That's also absurd. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so gross. I don't like that at all. Yeah. Hire anyway. me. I'm a Christian. I'm a yeah. good Christian. I've seen in some countries when you put your religion on your resume, it's not to say that you're part of that religion. It's mostly to say what religion you're not in. There's also that. Yeah. There's also that. Yeah. My Dios mio. Hey, holy man. Um. Okay. Well, okay. that will be it for me. Thank you guys for a lovely day on well tell people what's about to happen here i'll help you well armin is about to he just posted the link in no i haven't yet i'm app. gonna post it here oh, i'm okay. gonna post it right here because if i post it now everybody's gonna see it but it's going to be on the community so it's on the channel it's going to be on the community tab but it's also see i could put it public but i'm not going to put it public i'm going to put it all members so it's going to be only visible to the channel uh members um to come up and ask the questions if they want if they wish you know sometimes that uh, some people come up and sometimes not but yeah let me post the link right I now ha i do have one quick thought about the uniform civil code my friends who are like themselves very liberal indians have told me like even now to this day if they tried to actually execute a uniform civil code like the muslim community would lose their shit and it would be really 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 ugly so like there is well a, don't a, a, okay there, when you say it like that you weren't being derogatory to my uh, youtube might think like you're like trying to insult no i'm saying that the, the situation and social yeah. reaction would be Bad. not good for a lot of people okay 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 and, yeah but maybe like you're not saying it was unjustified because i'm just trying to protect this channel like you weren't trying to like be like say that muslims are like more like I, i'm just trying to protect the channel you weren't being derogatory in the way that you said that no, this is just an opinion mm -hmm. that you don't know what I'm saying. This yeah. might be the reaction. Yeah, by many and Muslims, not all Muslims. Yes. So okay. the point is that there actually does need to be a progressive movement within the Muslim mm -hmm. communities before we can get to that place of uniform civil code. I think that's okay. actually a point well taken. Yes, yes. I know you're I know, but YouTube, you know, YouTube is sensitive, so I'm just trying to cover our ass, okay? No. Just, and to I'm be fair, to... those are just the opinions of people. I don't know, but yeah, still. <sighs> the dancing we have to do, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Avabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship.
Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.